welcome to the channel guys we are in the middle of the remodel if you're watching my channel for the first time i originally had a bar in this area as you can see i've got my walls built now and i tore it out months ago and i didn't know what to do with the space so what i'm doing here is i am making a new office uh that way i'm more centralized in the center of the house also we're going to be getting fiber soon it will be much easier for them to bring in the fiber from this side of the house than the other side of the house there's many other reasons i want a food pantry my old office which i will show you excuse my mess this place is a disaster this is my old office which is fairly new office it will be relocated over there and i will be moving everything out of here and putting shelves up in here for food storage because times are going to be bad soon so what i've done i not only tore this out i've tore the entire ceiling now this house i bought 10 12 yeah 10 years ago it was a mess i gutted it tore a lot of things out i put up a cedar ceiling it looked terrible and it was dark so what I'm in the process of doing now is I'm going to replace this. If you'll look in the kitchen, it's going to look like that. Okay. And I've had a few days to think about some things. And we're going to have two of these recessed lights. See how thin they are. I have figured out all I have to do to hang these is cut two slots in the metal. Let me try to get it a little better. I place these upward, push them in, they snap in, don't have to cut no six inch hole. You'll be seeing a whole video on this, but we're going to put one there, one there, you turn you around, and one there, and then there's going to be, I'm going to also at the same time finish it under the stairs, I'm going to put the metal ceiling up here, and that will be replaced by one of those in there, and then after this project's done, we're going to get on to this. This will become more storage. The shelf will obviously be gone into the new pantry. All this from when I built the stairs has not remained finished yet, but we're going to get it finished. There's also going to be a light there. A cool, cool ceiling fan. You guys are not going to see that till the reveal, but you're going to like it. And then another light here. So there's going to be a total of six lights. One, two, three, four five six it probably doesn't even need these lights here and i may not because this, this fan that i bought has tremendous lighting so i'm going to put the fan up first and then see if i need them and then i can use the other two elsewhere so right now where i'm at is i've removed all the sheetrock uh you can see i've had rodent get in there where that pipe is i'm going to fix that there's a little hole in the corner over here i'm also going to fix that that piece can remain, although I got to pull out all these little nails. It just be, it's better for this one to stay. And then I've got this wall here. I am going to add another two by four here to strengthen this up. And I I may build a small like I don't know what you call them a thingamabob across there, which will also uh, help carry the wire. I'm putting an outlet facing out that way for that side of the living room and then there'll also be one in here a single outlet that's getting moved i don't like the replacement of that i'm going to put one there and one up top in there for my my desk will go this way and this way that way and that way the short part will be here this is the stove outlet I'm getting ready to run electric today. That's going to be cut out. I'm going to order my stove top here in the next day or so. But I'm going to go ahead and get the stove disconnected while I'm in here. Don't ask what that is. <laughs> that the, the ground wire will go away. Okay, that's, that's, that's an Arkansas rig there. So that's going to become a just a regular outlet for the 1800 watt stove, which is plenty enough to run on a 20 amp breaker and but that'll be probably a dedicated that will be a dedicated circuit so it'll be fine it'll be on a regular 20 amp breaker that's all it needs from the research i've done 
but I can put a 30 in, which I probably may do. In case I want to go with a bigger one, I have not bought the stove top yet. So what I'm going to do today, as you can see, I took that light out and I replaced it with a junction box. So I need to run out on this line here that is providing the outlets for the kitchen. I need to run all my outlets from that and one light. These two lights, I have a switch here. That switch will control these two lights. You can also control these lights with an app separately. And I believe the A thing over there, the little round thing, her name is A. It ends with an A. Yeah, so we're going to get that done. But I'm going to do electrical today. If I can get it done, I'm going to go buy one by fours, not these little strips. I'm going to go buy one by fours and put them nicely across because I'm running my metal this way. And I'm hoping to go get that metal either tomorrow or by Friday. So we will have that because after that, that's probably the next project. Well, sheetrock will be before that. I'm going to get brand new sheets. We're going to run them horizontal. Same as here. And everything matches up. So, And the reason these studs are not matched up with these is because, well, this was obviously a half wall before. So if I didn't want to hit the screw, the nails and that in there... I had to move them over a little. They're still 16 on center. You won't know once it's done. And what my plan is, I don't think this is going there. Now that I've pulled this wall, the desk only comes up to about here. So I'm going to put an outlet here just above the desk. That one, I'll move it down. And probably another one there. That will run my security system. I can have my monitor. I'll get a bigger monitor. I can have it on this wall here. So when I'm sitting in my recliner at night, you see it over there all messed up. I can just look over here. I can see my monitor. My monitor for my computers will be over here. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm not going to record a whole bunch of this stuff. I'll, I'll make a video for today. But we're going to be skipping two or three days in a row. And I want to get this done within two weeks. And I want to get the entire cabin finished downstairs within the month. That includes floors. I'll be going to pick up floors. I'll be doing that myself. I know it's going to be rough on me. But I'm tired of no floors. And no better time to do it is before, you know, than before I move all the stuff in here. You can all stay in there. I'll get the floors in. Then I'll bring things in. So you're going to want to watch the month of March. Because I'm going to be busy, guys. Busy. Let's get to work. All right, guys. One of the things about pre-existing construction when you get an older house, you're redoing something. When you want to run new electric, well, so you run into situations like this. Is like, well, how am I going to get that through there? Well, what I did is I cut two pieces of clothes hanger and I put a hook on each end. And I stuck one in there and I stuck one in there and I fished around till I hooked this one. Then I pulled it tight. Then I stripped my wire down to one wire, put a hook in each end hooked them, taped them, pulled them through. Now, that's called a fish. So uh, sometimes you got to come up with unique ways. Now I'm going to run into some issues when I get here. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get <laughs> the wire to this outlet and up here for my lighting. And you can see I got that one run. I've got my extra pulled out for my vent hood. And that, you know, I'm pulling a lot extra, more than I need, just in case. So, that's going to connect to the power up there. So, right now, I'm trying to get all this run. And I've got to run this to here, pull it out, and then this has to come to here. I'm running these in parallel, not not the, you know, your usual uh, daisy chain type that you see on a lot of channels. Uh, the difference between that and running parallel is when you're running a, a, a whole chain of these things, okay, if you got an outlet that goes bad, you're not running in parallel, guess what? None of the none of the outlets or lights will work. But if you're running parallel, which gives it a constant feed to each separate one, well, then you don't have that issue. Then you just replace whatever, turn your breaker off, replace the outlet that's bad, and you're good to go. So I'm going to feed that one to this one, 
pull me enough in here, cut it, and then I'm going to go, you, you kind of work backwards. So we're going to try to get the, at least the wiring done today, and, and then maybe I'll show you uh, how I wire an outlet. There it is, and this was a difficult spot. As you can see, I didn't have much room because of that joist that's up there. So I just got a little bit, and I'm going to have to get one of them metal plates to put there so I don't drill no screws or nails through it. But that should be good, and I'm doing these about every foot. This is my vent hood that I, that I haven't put up yet. And then uh, we're just going to make sure that we don't put them where we're going to put any screws through them. All right, I went through, I didn't have all these marked. I went through these, found out what they were, marked them, and I found a mistake. Found a mistake. I probably, when I was wired, built, doing this office, I got confused. What I thought this 30 amp breaker was on was the whole kitchen uh, outlets, which you really don't even need. But I could run it that way because I've got the, the wire, the 10 2 will run 30 amps. But now I need to change that because I'm going to uh, 10 2 wire. But that is not what was running the kitchen. This was powering the kitchen lights and the ceiling fan. Way overrated. So I'm going to swap the, this out for a 20. Pretty much all I need is 20, except I've got a 30 in the living room for the bigger air conditioner. But it has all the proper wire, so I can, I can do that with those outlets. But this has to be changed. That is way, way too much power amperage for, for these lights. And they're not even high-powered ones. The only thing on this circuit is this. And this and I also thought I had a dedicated outlet in there for the refrigerator which I do not so somewhere in here I got confused when I was doing this I don't know but now I know what everything goes to of course that's uh, the dryer the stove or the dryer the stove which we're doing away with that that's going to, to I have to study up on that that's probably gonna go Depending on the one I get now, I, I could go to some, I have to see what I need for that. But I haven't ordered it yet, so I'm not messing with that right now. I will turn it off and when I disconnect the stove and change the outlet. But this definitely has to be changed. Then we're good to go. That's a five-minute job. Waiting for the dogs to finish eating so they don't have to eat in the dark. Then we'll get this changed. Then we'll get on to this other stuff. Let me show you what I got going. All right, so I got all these outlets run. Now, these will be running on the same circuits as the kitchen, as I said. Uh, the outlet for the new stoves, we'll just use the existing wire. It's 10 to south wire. It'll, it'll be fine. That wire is in good shape. But for the lights, all of the lights, we're going to come off this. Because the only thing on this is the bathroom that has one light and an outlet and the ceiling fan. So we're going to come off of this. And we'll run all the lights off of that. I still haven't determined if I'm putting all six in here. I don't really think it's necessary. So what I may just do is run a light in here. And then run this wire for my two office lights. And my switch goes right here. Uh, I don't care if that comes on when these are on. But I could make this a separate switch. It's already got it. So I might as well leave that. And that way... You know, the light that I've got for this that's going in the center of the room that's on the ceiling fan, it is plenty bright for all this. When that light worked on that old ceiling fan, it lit this up well. So I think I'll save the other three for the uh, for the building out there. I don't know, man. But I'd have went around, test all my outlets. Everything's good, except for that one breaker. So I, I try to take my time when I'm doing electrical work because I want to know what everything runs all right switched it out to a 20 amp breaker we should be good to go uh, guys don't don't mess with the electrical unless you're really comfortable with it I'm, I've gotten you know I've wired this whole house it ain't burnt down yet but I'm comfortable with it uh, what I you know if you do shut the power off at the main my mains out there and then i come in here and i also i already know it's not there's no juice to here but there is another breaker in the sub panel yep and eventually let me look out there that was the original box okay it has these these on the bottom as well as the top so it comes in from the meter outside to this 
And then on the bottom, I've got it run underground. Let me see if I can get this shade up. Well, this is one you just lift up. I've got weeds growing in the house. So I've dug underground. I came up into the box. But I need to get a, uh, I can just get a uh, emergency shutoff. The only reason that's still there is because I'm running the well pump off of it. The well pump is a long wire that's buried. and uh. So anyway, I've got this switched out. We're good now. We'll go ahead and turn the power back on. I'm going to put this cover back on before I do because I know it'll work. And let's, while we're in here, just inspect everything. Everything's looking good. That's just from being pulled through the... It was hell trying to get that big wire pulled through here. All right, FedEx is here. My e-bike. All right, power's back on. Click this breaker on. Oh, that one's a hard one. <clears throat> See, kitchen lights on. It is now on a proper breaker. Whoo, I'm glad I caught that. All right, one thing about... <laughs> Doing a remodel is you got to deal with the mess, the dirt. Oh, God, it's just uh, it's a death trap in here. But in the end, it'll all get cleaned up. All right, I've got the light for my, or the wire for my light. Got it pulled through the top there. This is going to have the metal on the ceiling. I'm getting rid of these strips. That's going to be one by fours. And I'm going to make sure they're, they're placed right where they need to be. So this will be up under there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull these off here a little bit. And then tack, kind of tack them up there. I'm really not going to mess. I'm probably not going to mess with this wire until I get the 1x4s and get those in place. Then I can run them along the 1x4s right out of the way. And so right now I'm going to start wiring up some of these outlets. Uh, I've decided not to put one here. It's just going to be too difficult. Now I may hold off because I may be able to come off of this. The problem with that is it would be switched. Now, I don't want it that way, so I don't really need one there. I mean, there's an outlet right there, uh, and one, you know, there's going to be plenty of outlets. It's eight, eight sockets, and then two here, so I don't think I need one there, and we'll just wait and see. I got the insulation pulled back up temporarily for now, and let me see. I think we're done with the hard wiring. The rough wiring, so I'm just going to leave that lay there. I may need more of this. We've got this run that's going to be out of the way. All the metal is going to come down to the top of that thing. So you won't see that gap or any of that. I already got the fan. You won't see that till the end. So let me get a couple, couple sockets going, and I'll show you how the way I do it. i got to change batteries on this dude. All right, I've got this one here ready to go. Now, what I did is I cut pigtails. This is the way you do it parallel. Take your blacks, and you cut a pigtail, and you twist them all together. You want to start seeing it being braided. You do the same thing with the uh, ground. Now, I've got these for the next ones. I didn't cut this one long enough, but you don't need to cut a pigtail. I'll show you how these work in a little bit. And then I've got the whites all twisted together. What this does is if one of your outlets in the series goes out the power continues on and the other ones won't go out it's the best way to do it okay now all i have to do is hook my black to the gold a lot of people get that confused and the white to the silver and the green to the ground the best way i found to remember which wire goes on what just just call it black gold black gold you'll never forget well i'll be honest i do and then the white to the silver. And then we're ready to go on to the next one. Now the next one's going to be a little different because it's a double outlet. And we'll get there. Let me get this wired on, put in there, and we'll be back. All right, now you can see I've got my ground on there. You want to make sure that you loop it the way to where when you go to tighten this clockwise that it's going to tighten it with it. If you loop this the opposite way, it will loosen it up. You will not have a good connection. So I've done that with this one and this one. So now what we have is the juice is still flowing to our next outlet. So I'm going to go ahead and carefully put these wires back in there. Some people like to wrap some tape around here. I may go ahead and do that. It, it doesn't really, but I do like to take these screws that aren't, you know, the 
ones you're not using, go ahead and tighten them down. Doesn't hurt. Black gold. Go ahead and tighten that dude down because they do come from the factory all the way open most of the time. All right, now we're ready to button this one up, shove it back up in there, and continue on to the next one. Why are we having so much commotion out of you guys today? Because the weather's cooler? Oh, they are fired up. You, get in your bed. Look at them two over there. You have been the worst. The worst. Yeah, you have. You and Tilly. I don't need no back talk. Right, that one is done. I'm going to continue on to that, but I am going to take a break for a while. Uh, I got a late start, and it's getting late. I have not had lunch yet. So I'm going to make something quick. Uh, the kitchen is a mess. <laughs> so I'm not probably filming these every other day or so. I get a little further along because there wasn't much interest in the last one. And if there ain't no interest in this one, I'll just wait until I'm done. That's the way it is if nobody wants to watch. But just trying to record this stuff as I do it, guys, so you... Well, I have a record of it. Because let me tell you, this kind of thing comes in handy if you have a problem later. Well, how did I wire that? And then you go back and you look, and you have a nice record of it. it makes it easier. I don't know how many times I've went back to fix things. And, you know, like now I've got a record of everything in here. Everything up there. Still got a wrap those up but it's good to have and uh, some people like to know things thanks for watching guys happy trails